Hello and welcome back. Dear participants, as you can see on your screen, I would like to show you how you can create an interesting concept map of the topics that you have taken up. For example, on this screen you can see uh, there is the, this novel which is prescribed to the students of English literature, Emma by Jane Austen. I have created a concept map of this novel. I have attached the resources, the PDF file of the entire novel has been attached with the uh, concept node and uh, I have inserted pictures in the background of the concept nodes and thereby I have in created an interesting concept map through which I can teach my students in the class the entire novel. I have inserted the picture of the author Jane Austen. This is the root topic Emma. This is the PDF of the novel which I have attached here. This is the main character of our novel Emma Woodhouse and there are certain quotes and uh, images which I have attached along with. So similarly you can also create an extensive CMAP of whatever topic you wish to handle and then show it to your students in your classrooms. Now we'll get, get back to the original uh, CMAP which we've, we have created so far and now I will give you a view of two of the other important features of, in a CMAP. See while you are creating your CMAP you can simultaneously record the making of your concept map. So let us first take up recording of a concept map. What are the advantages of CMAP recorder and how can we use it? Please note that the recording uh, uh, of your CMAPs, you can, uh, with the help of a CMAP recorder, you can record your creation of a CMAP. But this recording does not allow the concept mapping tools do not allow you to save the recording anywhere in your system. This recording remains as an attachment to your CMAP in the views window of your CMAP tools. As soon as you open your CMAP, the recording will be accessible to you. So we shall talk about what is the use of this CMAP recording. To begin with, you can go to the top menu bar and click on CMAP tool recorders. Go to tools and here is the option of CMAP recorder. When you click on it, uh, a side window will appear to the right hand side of your CMAP and there are a number of small buttons. You have to click on start recording and then you can uh, start recording your concept map. When you are done recording click on stop. Stop recording button and then you can play, pause and stop from uh, with the help of these buttons. They will be highlighted once your recording is done and uh, there is some recording to show. Right, so you can watch step by step creation of your concept map. Now there are a couple of advantages why would we like to record our concept map. See if you are creating a C map and you leave it midway and then you wish to pick up the threads of whatever you were thinking or your line of thought while you were creating the C map, you can watch the recording and then reconnect to the, your concepts. Suppose you wish to show to your colleagues what line of thought you pursued while making your CMAP or how did you prepare your CMAP, you can show them the recording of the same. Now this tool is also greatly beneficial for students. Uh, sometimes when the teacher assigns uh, some activity to the students and gives the assignment to students to prepare a CMAP of the same, the students can submit the images of a similar CMAP saying that we created almost similar uh, CMAP by coincidence. In that case, the teacher can play smart and request the student to show the recording of the CMAP, which can verify whether the student created the CMAP him, himself or not and uh, or has cheated and submitted someone else's copy. So let us quickly see um, what are, uh, how can we record our CMAP. See, Right now, uh, we have created our CMAP till here. Now, we shall have to create some new things to record. So, I click on recording and uh, then I drag this arrow here. And here, uh, I would like to add, label it as adjective. 
and then from adjective I'll have uh, have something else let's say types types of adjectives proper adjectives demonstrative adjectives right so I'll now stop the button stop recording so when I click on stop recording you can see the play button has been highlighted and there are some options of going forward going backwards rewinding the entire recording so now when I play click on play you see this was where I was and uh, this is what I have done uh, while my cmap is getting recorded so I have got these uh, things which I have recently made these have been recorded so when whenever you start preparing a concept map click on recording and then continue to make your cmap so that every process every step gets recorded and you can play that recording whenever you wish to see where where what was your line of thought while you were preparing this cmap right so this seem uh, you can minimize this cmap recorder and there will be a small icon by uh, your uh, uh, towards your uh, right side when you click on it this window will automatically appear once again so that is how we record our C maps but you cannot save it anywhere and uh, let show a, uh, on any uh, any other platform this recording can be shown to people only when you open your C map and then click on this window and start playing only then can this C map recording be visible to others so apart from this feature we have also another feature which is very beneficial uh, for while creating a cmap and that is the power the presentation creator builder uh, tool of cmap for that once again but again let me remind you just like cmap recording facility the cmap presentation builder cannot be uh, the presentation built on cmap builder cannot be displayed or saved outside the cmap tools app right you cannot show it to anybody without opening your presentation uh, without opening your cmap tools window let me show you how you can make a presentation out of this cmap go to tools top menu bar go to tools there is this option of presentation builder click on it and again a side window will appear towards your right side now here we have a couple of options and one by one we can build our slides this second uh, button that you can see these five buttons at the top here first of all you will give name to your presentation let's say the name is grammar right and uh, then uh, you can these are five buttons here this last one has a cross over it this is for deleting the slides um, these buttons will be less used the most common buttons that we'll be using will be the first two the second button is of utmost importance with this you can add a slide for example when I click on it a new slide has been added to it now why did I click and did not uh, select anything from the cmap because I would like my first slide to be blank slide then one by one things will appear now when I wish to have the second slide I will press control and uh, click on this concept then come back and click on this button this will be second slide where my topic will emerge parts of speech then for the next slide to be created I will click on the first button uh, first I'll select the thing that I wish to have on my screen the co uh, concept line and uh, number of parts of speech and then I'll click on the first button now my third slide will have all the components of second slide plus the other components that I have selected here in my cmap again I press control or I need not press control now I click on this line and then click on noun but for those two selections I will have to press control uh, let's undo it first 
this line and then this concept and then coming here pressing the first button now my fourth slide will have this linking line and then noun once again I'll press control uh, click on this next line and click on demonstrative click on sorry demonstrative is not related to our noun so I'll then uh, click on this line and types types of nouns so I'll go back here and click on the first button now my fifth slide will have types of nouns now I will one by one show them what are the types of nouns click on the line click on material add slide then click on line click on proper add slide click on line common add slide click on this line abstract and add slide now I have uh, made almost nine slides now let me show you how your presentation will be uh, seen by your uh, viewers for that just below these slides you have two buttons over here the first button is a preview presentation whatever presentation has been created you can have a preview of it and the second button is the presentation button so let's have a preview of whatever we have created right you have to move the cursor ahead so first I have a the first slide was a blank slide then I move my cursor then I get my uh, root topic parts of speech next is number of parts of speech next is noun types material proper common abstract I continue to scroll through my slides and I get a an entire presentation the benefit of this presentation vis-a-vis -vis other presentation uh, media is that you get the entire presentation on one single screen you don't have to keep on moving uh, your slides where the previous information is lost or the previous uh, whatever uh, visuals were there they are lost so, uh, at the same time while you are showing your presentation you can get get an access to the resources also you can show the resources while showing your presentation so this was a preview now let's have a presentation let me show you um, let's sorry go back first uh, so from the first slide let's see the presentation so this is the blank slide this is my presentation mode first I get the topic then number of parts of speech noun types material proper common abstract so this is how my presentation will be visible to my students if I'm showing them into in my class so as I told you you cannot save this presentation and show without opening your CMAP tools so what is the benefit of this presentation see I have had a couple of benefits while I have prepared these presentations and these CMAPs see what I generally do as I showed you that uh, you can uh, have a presentation while you are uh, making a present uh, you have created a presentation you can run it on your screen and then simultaneously screen record the entire presentation with your own voice over behind it so I have created a couple of uh, uh, pre presentations I have converted a couple of such CMAP tools presentations into videos by re uh, screen recording the entire presentation and uh, voicing over uh, the presentation and in this way I have uploaded a couple of videos for my students uh, who can watch them anytime on YouTube so you can also do such a thing that while you have this so you can voice over like this uh, good morning students good morning everybody today we are going to uh, talk about parts of speech so let me introduce you to our topic which is parts of speech so we have eight parts of speech the first part of speech is noun noun has different types material noun proper noun common noun and abstract noun so I can screen record this entire presentation and with my voiceover and then upload it as a video on YouTube so this is the benefit of a presentation builder again just like CMAP recorder you can click on this minimizing button and the presentation builder will hide and a small icon will appear on the side 
showing a number of slides and play button when you click on it it will open into your entire presentation you can continue adding slides and you can also alter your slides by clicking on these two buttons which you can practice whenever you want right so this is our cmap 